read, I think, her mm -hmm. book and just wrote. And I, I think I remember reading an interview in which you said you, you had read In the Waiting Room by Elizabeth Bishop. Yes. And that yes. was a sort of instantaneous yes. moment. Yes. And you that, talk about that? Yeah. You want to, because um, the, when you was, well, let me just, because it sort of um, ties into something you were saying um, about um, uh, artist of color. Yeah. Um, I forget um, that everyone isn't black. I think everyone is black. <laughs> and it's always a surprise to me when they announce that they are. <laughs> and so... I read Elizabeth Bishop. I didn't know if she wasn't black. And if you read the poem uh, in the waiting room, it's um, it's if you were conscious of being black, you'd have to say, "Well, this isn't for me." And uh, but I didn't. I wasn't conscious of anything but that. This was 1978. I was. Um, no, it was it was before that, 77, 76, something like that. I wasn't 30 yet. I was born in 49, so I wasn't 30 yet. Anyway, I read In the Waiting Room, which is the first poem in her book, Geography 3. And after I read it, it is not an exaggeration, I read it once, I closed it, and I knew how to write. And I wrote mm -hmm. Girl, the first short story I ever wrote. And it's it's... It was as if, I don't know, a sister, a twin, a good friend showed me, opened a door and said, come in. Mm -hmm. And Elizabeth Bishop is not a woman of color, but there she was, a, a guide. Uh, I've never had a writer quite do that for me, except perhaps Charlotte Bronte mm -hmm. um, as the other uh, one. So as for... Yeah, um, you ask her about, made me think of women of, 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 of color. Um, so Elizabeth Bishop, woman of color. <laughs> <laughs>